Hello guys, Adrian here from Mapsid. Uh, during this video, thanks for watching first. Uh, during this video, I will uh, um, demonstrate how to build a, a dashboard with uh, a few clicks uh, using Mapsid. Uh, imagine that you are a, a developer that uh, needs a new dashboard for for a, for a project, and uh, you don't want to build from scratch all the code, all the to integrate the design to code authentication, so uh, you just need to to move move uh, move with speed for for one of your customers, and uh, AppSeed might help you in this case. We have here a, a, an open open service generator that can be used by anyone, even without an account on AppSeed. So what we basically offer is to uh, you can choose the design. We have uh, or here but more will come let's uh, pick the, this one uh, once the the design is, is selected you can choose the backend framework for now we we offer the possibility to choose between flask and Django, which are super popular python based uh, frameworks but uh, in the future i mean in the next few weeks we will integrate node.js express laravel and other other popular frameworks and also React for the front end and VGS. Uh, for this demonstration, I will pick Flask. In the next screen, uh, the users can choose the, the persistence of their product. Um, let's. Uh, my proposal is to to leave the, the defaults. In this case, uh, we can use SQLite because it's, it's super nice for small projects, and we don't need something heavier like. Uh, uh, MySQL or Postgres, PostgreSQL. Uh, you can also disable the database support, but for the first project that we'll generate, we'll keep the SQLite just to, to see how it goes. And also the deployment, uh, for now we have uh, some, some basic options like Docker, which is super useful when you want to, to use a, a stable deploy interface on many platforms. Uh, also, you can choose Heroku to disable uh, the deployment and uh, build your own solution. Uh, in this case, I, I say before, I will use the defaults. Now, I will confirm the, the action. The user can visualize all the previous options here and hit the generate button. Once the request is sent to, to the backend server, the code base is generated according to your, to your selection. Um, we might wait a few a few seconds to, to to get the code. Once the generation is finished, uh, the source code is saved on automatically on GitHub. So it's here. We can see all the commits, all the files, which are uploaded in real time. Okay, we have a, a progress. Here, displayed by the server. Once the, the process is complete, we will access the repository, download the sources, and uh, try to start the product. Okay, so the operation is successful. Let's go here. The product has already uh, generated README with all your um, uh, all your options. You can see the UI here, the instructions how to run up the start up the application and Docker, and also for the manual build you can you can uh, check the sections for Mac OS or Unix or Windows. In case of any any issues, feel free to contact us using the, the support. Let's try to start up the product using uh, our environment. Okay. Okay, so the sources are uh, downloaded uh, locally. Okay, this is the build, starts with 77. Okay, so it's this one. 
which is the the ID of our build. Okay, now we are inside the, the sources generated by by the apps generator and just try to start the, the application using Docker. This might, might take a while, depends on your um, internet connection. An important fact once the application is up and running is that uh, uh, we, we are not shipping the product with any default users, so you need to access the registration page and create a new user in order to access the private pages. We will see this fact right away. Okay, so the application is up and running. Okay. Eighty-five. So here is our product. Let's try to authenticate using a simple user. Of course, this this was the user doesn't exist, so let's create a new one. Test, test, apps, dot yes, and pass. Okay, the user is successfully created. Let's authenticate using the, um, the credentials. So, the application is up and running. We have our database by just by clicking on the generator all pages are already integrated in flask you have a session a simple session based authentication so you are you just need to download the source and use the product in case you want to i don't know um, use the the product without authentication the only thing you need to do is to click on the framework here disable the, the database and generate the code. Okay, now the sources are generated using the same the same process. So this time the the build is uh, starts with the build ID starts with uh, 20A. Let's uh, access the GitHub repository. We we can see that uh, the sources are committed 30 seconds ago. All we need to do is to wait to for the completion of the of the process. Okay, so the, the process is almost finished. We have a successful operation here. Let's access the, the GitHub. Okay, so this time the authentication part, part is, is not there. So basically we have this um, bootstrap design integrated into Flask without any database or authentication. Let's from the project in our environment. Okay, so the, the checkout is, is finished. Let's close the, the previous previous project. So here we have the new the new build. Let's start the project using using Docker. Okay. All things. The project is up and running. Let's 
access the, the UI. Okay. So this time we don't have that redirect to the uh, authentication, to the login, and uh, we just uh, we can access the pages without any authentication lock. So guys, this is the, the new product um, that we've built for the community. Um, feel free to, in case of any issues, of course, uh, we are providing support. So feel free to access the support page. Feel free to uh, join our Discord server to, to chat with other fellow developers and get support regarding all, all our products. Uh, more feature will come in the next few weeks, as I mentioned before. Uh, more modules will be provided for Django and Flask, like uh, uh, Stripe payments, like uh, data tables, charts, uh, uh, many deployment options on AWS or Heroku or um, Google Cloud or other popular deployment platforms. So if you like the project, if you like the process and the generator, feel free to chat with us and join Appsit. Thanks for watching and have a super, super day.